How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm going to be looking at a few beers from McKellar. Um, yeah, a few double IPAs, single hot, uh, all coming in at 8.9% alcohol by volume. They're uh, Cascade double IPA, the uh, Simcoe double IPA, and Citra double IPA. So uh, yeah, gonna right away start on the Cascade here. Um, again, single dry hopped, only using uh, Cascade hops, or single hopped, I mean, not dry hopped, whatever. They're probably dry hopping in it, but uh, yeah. Uh, here's the can art to this one. Pretty cool. Always like McKellar's labels. Um, yeah. Wow, I can smell that from here. Super resinous. Uh, pours a really hazy, uh, bright orange color. Tons of carbonation. Um, it's not opaque at all, but it's got this like neon, hazy, glowing kind of uh, um, look to it. Uh, two fingers of a uh, beautiful, uh, fluffy, frothy, off-white head. Let's get an aroma. Oh, wow. Yeah, tons of great fruit right away. Some orange peel, something like that going on. Definitely a big, bready, slightly caramel malt to the background there. But it's a uh, nice smelling double IPA. There's a bit of tropical fruit in the background too. Just a hint. Smells absolutely classic, so uh, yeah, let's try out the uh, Cascade Double IPA. Cheers. Alright. Definitely getting the booze in this one. You definitely know that 9% alcohol is there. There's a nice uh, floral, uh, piney kind of bitterness across the tongue, but a really sweet, bready, uh, malty backbone. Nice mouthfeel to it. It is uh, surprisingly light for uh, nearly 9%, but um, um, it's still got a nice chewiness to it. Really digging that. Piffy citrus throughout the uh, palate there. Nice uh, grapefruit, orange, stuff like that. All in all, pretty nice double IPA from McKellar. A Cascade double IPA. Let me know what y'all think of this one. As a rating on it, I think I'll give this one a straight up like 84 on it. A nice uh, solid B rating, uh, B minus area. But uh, yeah, really good stuff. I'm going to move on to the Simcoe double IPA next. All right, moving on to the Simcoe Double IPA from McKellar. Um, yeah, just finished uh, the Cascade Double IPA, and uh, I think I'll lower that grading to uh, 83. Uh, it did finish a little bit boozy. Um, as it warmed up, it got a lot boozier. But uh, I was also uh, detecting more uh, complexities from the hops. I was getting a bit of uh, melon, maybe hints of like papaya, something like that in the background. Still a really good IPA. But uh, yeah, moving on to the uh, Simcoe. Pours a little bit less hazy, um, but still same color, uh, same head on this one. Finger, two fingers of a uh, fluffy, frothy, off-white head. A bit of alcohol eggs on the glass there. Let's get an aroma. Oh wow, super dank. Significantly danker on this one. Like overripe peaches, I'm getting like that cat pee aroma people often talk about. Earthy. Yeah, super earthy, almost like that, uh, I want to say like, uh, like, I often get mushroom in uh, IPAs now that are like overly hopped, you know? And I'm getting that like really dank, earthy mushroom aroma. <laughs> but uh, yeah, smells actually really damn good. The uh, malts are a little bit less in this beer than the uh, Cascade, or at least on the aroma. And more of the hops jumping out at you. Very aromatic beer. All right, let's try it out. Cheers. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, I like that. That's really good. Yeah, the uh, bitterness of the uh, Simcoe, the uh, extra flavor, extra aroma of the Sim Simcoe uh, makes the alcohol a little less um, pronounced in this beer. It's still there, granted, but it's kind of disguised by that like bitter grapefruit peel, the uh, really earthy, dank flavors. But that is a classic example of a uh, West Coast double IPA. But with like a New England kind of dankness, that green resinous kind of thing. Really digging that. Simcoe IPA, double IPA from McKellar as a rating. I think I'm going to bump this one up to like a 89, something like that. Verging on a 90. Really good IPA. Definitely worth picking up. Um, yeah, going to enjoy this one. Uh for a bit here and then move on to the uh, Citra double IPA. All right, last and hopefully not least, we've got the uh, Citra from McKellar. Um, yeah, let's get it poured here. All right. By the looks of this one, a lot murkier than the uh, other two. Um, it's still got that glowing orange color, but it almost looks like uh, more of a New England IPA, something like that, you know? Um, just really murky opaque. Uh, two fingers still of a uh, beautiful off-white head. Let's get an aroma. Wow. Big uh, pineapple peach kind of thing. Still getting that grapefruit hints of uh, bready uh, malts in the background. But a lot more uh, tropical fruity. There's a big uh, fruity sweetness in the background too. Yeah, like really uh, overripe peaches, some tart pineapple. It smells really nice. And a bit of like a, uh, not a herbaceous note, but like a floral kind of note. Alright, let's try it out. Cheers. Yeah, that's really good. Very similar to the other two, of course. But you just get a big burst of those uh, fruity, citrusy, uh, citra hops, you know. Pineapple, hints of mango maybe in the background there. There's some sort of... Uh, like berry kind of note that I can't really put my tongue on right now. There's hints of melon as well in the background there. Just really, really nice uh, double IPA. A lot more of a linger, lingering uh, bitterness as well, which is uh, hiding that 9% alcohol very, very well. Really digging that. But uh, yeah, Citra double IPA by McKellar. I think his uh, rating, I'd give this one a solid 90, uh, maybe a 91, something like that. Really, really good. Just a really beautiful example of a West Coast double IPA, as are all of these. Um, depending which hops you'll, you uh, like more, um, that'll influence which uh, of the beers you like more, of course. I also got their uh, uh, Nelson, I believe the Mosaic, and uh, maybe the Armor... Amarillo, something like that, uh, left, maybe something else, I forget, but uh, I'll have to review those in the future as well, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody, let me know what y'all think of any of these beers, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, yeah, till the next time, cheers.